Now, we have two very special guests with us now. Lynn Collicart, who runs Clevedon Animal Farm, south of Auckland, and her pet goat, Esmeralda. Good morning to you both. Good morning to you. Firstly, I must say Esmeralda has been incredibly well behaved because she's in a studio, there's people everywhere, and she really hasn't batted an eyelid. No, luckily. And she's, a, <laughs> and she's been a very clean goat so far too. There's been no messes, but I don't expect her to get out of that without doing something. But first, up, tell me goats. How many goats do you have? We have about 10 at the moment. And tell me a little bit about Esmeralda. Esmeralda was picked up in the Ness Valley bush. She was left by her herd. She's a, a feral goat, which means a wild goat. And Jo Robinson, she picked her up and put her in her hot water cupboard and left her overnight and she came back to life, which was wow. wonderful. And then we had her in our kitchen for the first three months of her life. Oh. And that was exciting because we lost tea towels and towels and <laughs> wiring. <laughs> because that's the thing we think about goats. Goats yes. eat everything, don't they, they? Absolutely do. So what have you lost to Esmeralda? Only, only those things because at that stage we decided she should go outside. <laughs> <laughs> she should be an outside pet. Do goats make good pets? Goats make marvellous pets, but you must realise that they, they need uh, company more than anything, company of other goats or company of people. If you put a goat out on a line and leave it, that's pretty cruel. OK, so they need to be social yes. animals. Well, like we are, social, really, aren't they? Yes. And you can't train a goat to stay indoors? No, but you can't train them to stay out either. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Does, does Esmeralda think of herself as a bit of a house pet? Well, she did originally, but because she's been out on the farm a long time now, that's why she's probably not as um, used to this as she would have been. How years. long do they live for? They live from about 10 to 14 years. If you did have a goat, though, you'd have to have some sort of lifestyle block. Do they need a bit of room? Uh, you've got to have pasture and hay. Okay, is that what they uh, need? Yes. Apart from tea towels and everything else? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You can put them on a block with gorse and blackberry, but you must have two-thirds of pasture as well as that. Okay, so they do need the pasture and the yeah, hay. So you're absolutely. not going to stick one in your suburban backyard, are you? Well, you can do, provided you bring in the hay and everything. Although, actually, if you see our, our backyard, the grass is usually about this high because well, it doesn't get no particularly <laughs> often. It would be. Uh, so how many goats do you have? So you have ten goats, sorry. Yes. What other animals do you have out of Clevedon? Oh, we have um, sheep and cows, like the normal farms, but we also have alpacas, donkeys, and we have a dozen ponies and horses. Gosh, what a fantastic place to live. It's and finally, fun. how can we tell if she's happy? She looks like, a, um, does she, is she happy at the moment? Uh, She's looking a little bit nervous. She is slightly nervous, yes. Got but she's fright. not worried too much because on the trip in here she was looking out the window and loving all the cars going by. Going, so. woohoo, I'm on the motorway. <laughs> yes. And she's 12 years old, so she's, yes. a, she's an older soul, shall we say. Yes, yes. Well, it's been really wonderful having you in here, you and Esmeralda. I think that's a first, well, it is a first for this show, having a goat on. We've had, uh, I think we're lifting the bar each time with the animals. Thank you so much, Lynn, for bringing in the wonderful Esmeralda. Uh, from, Lynn is from Runzi Clevedon Animal Farm which is a great place to visit with your children.